what's going on guys Halloween special audit right now these guys can put up all sorts of frivolous decorations they can't uphold our rights they can't fix the rampant poverty they can't stop the debts they can't stop any of the things going on but they can sure make it look real spooky well they don't have to put up decorations to make it look spooky we're here in Patterson New Jersey the local government has failed the citizens for a long time First Amendment audit So he's about to tear down the statue, guys. He's about to tear down the statue. Tear it down. Tear it down. Tear it down. Tear it down. Uh, he's not on board. He's not on board. Looking to see the mayor? Go back that way, go back that way. I'm sorry? It's a matter of right here. You're not you're not you're not certified yet. Certified? Is this a public building, sir? Yeah, you got it, huh? Is this a public building? No. This is not a public building? No, no, no. This way, this way. This way. Okay. Sure, sure, sure. I I'm I'm I am i am i got to be checked, huh? Okay. Is it this is not a public building? I'm gonna be cool. Be cool. I want to be seen. Now what we need. What we need. Um, I'd like to see the mayor, sir. Ooh. Ooh. Come on, he's not even here. Okay. First, you make an appointment, and when the secretary out there, they show back up, brother. Sure. Yeah. So, is this a... Uh, who owns this building? Wait, wait. Who? Wait, I answer the question already. Is this, this is City Hall, correct? Yes, yes. So, this is a public building? Yes. Okay, so I could come in here, I can give myself a self-guided tour, I have the right to protest? No, 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 no they don't do that here. Okay. They, they don't, you're not allowed to protest here? No, no, yeah, what I'm saying, stop, stop. Stop, stop. No, no, he, not, he don't need that. He don't need that. No, you could do that, but he had to go to the officer, and then they do it. I go to the officer. Right. Okay, who's the officer I can speak to no, about protesting? Yes. Oh, no. Just put your keys, cell phone, and wallet in here, sir. I'll help you. Sure, thank you. <laughs> Can't forget about the fake mic, guys. Okay, we're going to hold this, okay? Why? Until you're done. Why? Are you coming in the building? I just yes, of course. Okay, come Can on you, in. Uh, well, are you allowed to confiscate my no, property? We're hold it. Why we're would you hold, hold it, it though? That's that's actually part of my channel. That's what I do. Uh, what do you do? I'm a YouTuber. I'm a First Amendment activist. Okay, okay come I've on. interviewed Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s niece. I've interviewed CIA right whistleblowers. Absolutely. Alrighty. Um, hold on, Marty. Are you standing by? Okay. Marty. Thank you. Okay. What is HBO? Search on HBO. Am I... We're just going to take your temperature, okay? Is that a law? Yeah, we're going to take your temperature. And we need you to put a mask on. Everybody's temperature Everybody has to have a mask on. Is that a law? You have to have... It's, it's clearly states that... Well, I have, I, have, uh, I have health conditions, so I'm not going to be able to do that. Okay, then okay. you're not going to be allowed in the building. Yeah. Everybody has to have a mask on. So if you have a health condition, you're not allowed Everyone in the building. Everyone has to have a mask on. That's, this guy doesn't have a mask on. He's talking to you. Everybody in this building has to have a mask on. Is that a law? Listen, can I speak to your supervisor, please? Okay, let's step over here. We'll get the supervisor. Can I please have my wisp back? I mean, people are being loud and rowdy, and I don't know who's that. It's not mine. I just want—I would like to speak to a supervisor, please. All right, I'm going to ask you to just stand over here, am, am and we're going to get a supervisor for you. Okay? Is there we're a reason you're asking me to stand over here? I'm being—I'm yeah, trying to be put. Okay, do I have? Okay, okay, yeah. that's cool. Because you're for everybody in the building, we asked to put a mask on. Okay. 
with a mask on. And if are you, you come a, in without a mask, then they're going to say I understand. Can I, can I say one thing, ma'am? Are you an officer? I'm a security officer. Did you, did you take an oath to the Constitution? They get upset when you ask about the Constitution. Oh, where? Word him up. How are you? I just wanted to be able to go ahead. I'm sorry. Are you a supervisor? I'm sorry. What is your name? My name is Audrey. What can I Audrey. do? Audrey. Hey, I just wanted to go around and film the you building. You cannot go in, in the building. That's number one. I, why can Two. I not go in the building? Well, let's take it out with number one. You why can't I go in the building? a mask, then I'm not going to let you in. Okay. Well, why? you said I can't go in the building. Why can I not go in the building? You cannot go into the building. They have to let the uh, gentleman in right now. I'm sorry. I, 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 you have I, to let the security guard know. I, le I let the security guard know. What I let the floor are you going to? I, you just can't run around the building. What, what is your position here? I'm a secretary here. So you're a secretary? Yeah. Okay, so can I speak to your supervisor, please? I would like to speak mayor. to... Okay, so can I speak to the mayor, please? No, the mayor is not here. Is meet. there a police officer or somebody? Yeah. I can... Okay, that'd be great. I thought these guys were police officers here. People are yelling and screaming, and I'm, I'm the one that's not allowed to be in here because I have a camera. So I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to move to the side over here so we're not blocking anybody's way. So they can't say we're disrupting the flow of business. So these people are woefully uninformed about their rights. So I'm going to hopefully get somebody that knows something to come out here. <laughs> this is a, pu a public building. We can't go in there. These people don't know you can film or you can go into City Hall without an appointment. What the heck? They say you can't walk around the City Hall. She is mad. She is upset. She is upset, upset, upset. They don't have anybody I could talk to either. I mean, who's this guy? That's just... The guy... <laughs> See, they can set up Halloween uh, <laughs> decorations, but they, they, they can yell at this is like, this is... Good, how are you? I'm sorry, who are you? You need a man. Okay. I'm the supervisor. Okay, thank you. Um, well, first of all, um, one, it's unconstitutional. Two, it's... Um, sir, please let, allow me to speak. Allow me to speak. Sir, sir, I, I understand your rules. Okay. By, by order of the Attorney General of the United States, if you have a HIPAA recognized medical condition, we know, we can't get a problem, we have a exactly. So I have a medical condition which prohibits me from wearing a mask, okay. and that's clearly enumerated in this executive order, which is not law itself. So I should not be. I would even before. Come outside. What, do I have to come outside? Come outside. Is, is there? Is there? I need to talk to you outside. Come you outside. don't need to talk to me outside, outside sir. Outside. I'm going to comply with you. I don't have to come outside, but I'm going to do that because Thank I'm a gentleman. You. Thank you. All right, all right. Now, okay. So here, what's so so, he, so what's going on, right? Okay, go ahead. Here's the thing, right? Mm -hmm. The masks, first of all, it's it's not a constitutional thing. Second of all, it's an executive order. And the stipulations of that executive order specifically say, if you have a medical condition, you do not have to wear a mask. Also, mm -hmm. the attorney general, the largest cop of this entire country, said, you, if you have a medical condition, you do not have to wear a mask. So not only is it unconstitutional, mm -hmm. and anybody that enters this building or anybody that serves the public mm -hmm. swears an oath to the Constitution. Mm -hmm. So denying me entrance into this building, first, one, having a medical condition is illegal, and two, you're violating my constitutional rights. Now, I haven't raised my voice, and I haven't been not polite with anybody. I just want to come into the building, and this is a public building, right? We pay for all of us with our tax. This is supposed to be... Uh, the center of constitutional republic right here. And I just wanted to go around, make sure my public officials were doing the right thing, take some pictures, and then I'd be on my way. Okay, well, I understand what you're saying. Yeah, sure. What, what are you here building. for? What am I here for? I'm here to exercise my First Amendment rights okay. to freedom of speech, okay. freedom of press, okay. and freedom to protest. So right now, you have to, in order to do that, you have to have a permit to do that. So you're, you're, you're telling me, sir. Right, you have to have a permit. If you want to do the speech, you have to have a permit. You just can't so you're telling me, sir, 
in the United States, in a public building, you need a permit because you, for the you, First Amendment. Because you just told me that you want to exercise your rights. You yes. want to speak. You want to yeah. speak. But no, no. I, I mean, I'm speaking with you right now. Okay. I have the right to speak. Okay, that's why we're coming outside. That's, and I have the right to speak in, okay. inside but as well. What is, your, what is your business here? First My business here is as a private citizen okay. exercising my constitutionally protected rights in a public building that is paid for by our taxes. Okay, do you want to see somebody in particular or you just want to walk around the building? I wanted to take a look at the building. I wanted to see if the mayor might pop back in. Okay, this, is, this is money that all Americans pay for with federal and private and local tax dollars. Right, okay. And it's every one of our rights to be in there. I just wanted to take okay. a look at the building and the public servants. Okay. Uh, and it's my constitutionally protected right to do so. So, so now, can I go into the building, sir? The only way you go in there, you have to, I'm telling you, as a supervisor, and I'm exercising my rights as a supervisor, as a city employee, you have to have a mask when you come here. Regardless of what you say, I'm exercising my rights because I'm a public employee and also I'm a supervisor. So you cannot violate my rules. You know what I'm saying? So I'm asking you nicely. I'm asking you nicely. Sure. To come in here, I'll give you a mask, and you have to wear it. I will tell you what. Although I disagree with what you told me. Okay. Because you have right. I disagree with what you told me. Mm -hmm. Because just because you tell me I have to wear a mask doesn't legally make me have to wear a mask. But listen, okay. you've been very respectful, okay. and you've had a good conversation with me. So I will put on a mask. Okay. I will go around. Mm -hmm. I'll take my pictures, and I'll be on my way. Excuse me. Give me a second. Yes, I appreciate it. Thank you. I'm, I'm not. I want to go in and take my pictures. One second. Don't leave sure. One second. Don't leave I'm not. I don't plan on leaving. Oh, great. We got an officer. Great. No, that's not an officer. That's a thing. Okay, so I'm shutting the... I, I even complied with the stupid unconstitutional mask thing. I'm trying to be as nice as possible. I just had a big coffee, too. And I'm taking deep breaths. I'm channeling the yogi right now. I'm, I, I'm, I'm on my best behavior today, guys. So they're having a conference, seeing if I can have my First Amendment right. All these people that are putting up decorations, they don't care that somebody's First Amendment right is being violated. Are you pressed, sir? Sir, are you pressed? Oh, I applied. I'm not, I'm not leaving. Yeah. I'm sorry. Pardon me. No, no, I'm sorry. Let me get out your way. So we're here, Patterson, downtown Patterson. We got, we got D in the house. He's out here repping. Putting their feet to the fire. He's the only one out in Patterson I know doing it, so. They got the secretaries out here decorating and violating my rights. I don't know why I'm so calm, but I'm in a good mood. So let's see if I get a... Let's see if I... Yep, brand new from Amazon. Brand new from Amazon. That's our tax money right here. Tax money. Tax money. Let's call your request this. Yep. They can have a party, but we can't have our rights. You can have a party, but you can't have our rights. Oh, and they're ordering food, too, of course. It's a party that we're not invited to. All right, we're going to have to find out what that flag is. It's definitely not... So we got a flag over here. I can't tell because it's not in the wind, but it's definitely not in the United States flag. So I'm curious what flag that is. I myself prefer the philosophy of anarcho-capitalism, but it's interesting to see a non-United States flag here. But, but they all often in cities and counties across the United States will put up flags to celebrate other cultures, communities, and countries. So I'm just curious to see what it would be. Let's see. Are they just going to leave me out here? What's going on? They're having a powwow. Um, I'm, so if it, I, I'm going to respect him. I don't know why I'm in. R.I.P. to the Coon class. R.I.P. to the Constitution and the Coon class, and unfortunately, class. right? You We're going to have to bring the Constitution back to life and to the coon class, we're gonna have to destroy them. That's this is crazy. So, I, I should. I'm gonna wait a couple minutes. I don't know why I'm being so nice today, but everyone's like, "Will you spaz too much? You spaz too much." So I'm gonna. I'm being cool right now. I'm being chill. I could be spazzing and exercising my First Amendment rights a lot 
louder. What, what would what would Thomas Jefferson do? What would uh, Rosa Parks do if they were just like, oh, just be quiet and just stay outside of the building? I mean, this is so crazy. We don't even have a, a First Amendment here. Now we've got the medics here. We're probably going to check to see. Uh, we've got no police, though. What the hell? All right, this is crazy. All right, I'm gonna wait another minute or two. If not, I'm gonna go back in there. I'm gonna be respectful because they're dealing with, it looks like there's paramedics and I'm not gonna, uh, I don't want to impede on anything that the paramedics are doing. Um, so I'm not going to do anything like that. But I'll wait till after that's done. Uh, but I am impatient because I just drank some coffee and I have my First Amendment violated. Is this the mayor right here? That's the mayor. Yo, the mayor is here. The mayor is here. He just went to the right. The mayor. He just he went inside. And he's right there. He's right there. He's, he's right inside right now. So we got the mayor. I'm sorry. You can't go in without a mask in there. Do you do you do realize, sir, that people, sir, sir, you, you do re you do realize that that's actually people that have medical exemptions can go in without a mask, and it's all, sir, that's that's illegal. Is someone still coming to speak with me? Yeah, he's coming back downstairs. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Please take care of this. Please, this boss. Who, who, who? Don't be outside, please, okay? Okay, come on. You gotta, who are you, sir? I'm Sergeant Murillo. I'm in charge of the city hall, okay? Who? I'm Sergeant Murillo. I'm in charge of the Okay, Sergeant, please, could you please come speak to me? Of course. Hey, I can't speak to you, but I can speak are you, to you. Do you promise you're coming out? I'm in the Okay, okay, okay. okay. I, I'm, I'm being on my best behavior right now. Please put your mask on, okay? Sir. Come, sir, please come speak to me. He was a doozy. All right. Perfect. Is that law? Okay. Or is that policy? Excuse me, Sergeant. May I have a word with you, please? Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You can look it up. Is it the governor of New Jersey? Sure. I'm, I'm familiar. He, he, it's an executive order. I'm, I'm outside. I'm already outside, sir. I'm being very, very nice today, sir. I'm being very, very nice, sir. I haven't, e I haven't even raised my voice. I'm going to maintain six B apart, okay? Okay, that's fine. What I'm going to do, let me bring you the paperwork that we have. I show you. Okay, okay, okay. All right, so here's the thing, right? Okay, okay. Just maintain six feet apart. Okay, okay, okay. First of all, with the six feet, right, even according to the CDC and the World Health Organization, germs travel up to 25 feet. So that's why, I understand. We do the best we can. I understand. Let me, I let you talk, sir, and I evacuated a building against... Sir, so I, okay. Six feet apart. You can go down the stairs for me, please. Six feet apart. Oh, my God, this is crazy. All right, listen, sir, sir, sir. You swore an oath to the, uphold the Constitution, correct? 
Don't listen to, sir. Why, why? Don't worry about it. Okay, you, you're an officer, correct? Yes, sir. And you swore an oath before God to the Constitution? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So you swore an oath before God to uphold the Constitution. One, in the executive order, it says if you have a medical exemption, you do not have to wear a mask. Do you have a medical exemption? I absolutely do. Are you good? That's a violation of HIPAA and my Fourth Amendment, sir. You know. Sir, no. Your, your job, as, as you swore before God, was to not protect other people, but protect everyone's constitutional rights. Oh, finally. Here we go. Good. How you doing, sir? I'm excellent, sir. Okay? So, first of all, I've tried to enter this building. I was denied access to this building. I did not raise my voice. I've been being very polite, okay. right? Yeah. Even one, the mask executive order is inherently unconstitutional. But secondly, okay. even though it's unconstitutional, okay. if you have a medical exemption, even according to the executive order, okay. you don't have to wear them. Also, according to the Attorney General William Barr, you didn't have to wear one. So, I even said, look, I'll put my mask back on. I just want to go, e even though that's a clear violation of the Fourth Amendment, the First Amendment, okay. they're trying to check out my medical history and stuff. I just want to go back in. I'll even put a mask on. I just want to go in, take some pictures, and go in, and, 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 and I'll be on my way. Do you have a mask? I do. Can you wear it for me? I will. As, uh, will I be allowed access back uh, into the building? I'll talk to them and see what they can do, all right? What they can do? But, sir, yes, sir. For your safety and our safety, you know what I mean? You know, the pandemic that's going on right now. Sure. You have to wear your mask. Now, you let me tell you, you I do understand what you're saying, what, yeah, and, and, and I appreciate you, you, your opinion on that. Yeah. Respect. So, I do understand it's a pandemic and we have to keep people safe. Yeah, exactly. However, both of you gentlemen, welcome, sir, yeah. swore an oath before God to uphold our constitutional yeah, of rights. Of course, of course. This country was founded, our founding fathers actually fought the Revolutionary yeah. War during a smallpox pandemic. Yeah. So, they didn't get locked in, they actually fought for rights okay. during a pandemic. So, it is my, wait, sir. So, it's my constitutionally protected right to enter that building with or without a mask, yeah. and you guys swearing an oath to the Constitution, you you have to make sure that my freedom of speech, freedom of protest, freedom of press yeah, yeah, is accessed. So, like you can all you yeah, want. I know. I just yeah. want to be able to go up all in there. I'm saying is that you know, due to the pandemic, yeah. you see myself wearing the mask. True, but I due to respect for you to wear your mask. I, I, I will tell you what. You, you I, I understand what you're saying, right? Because, but because technically, right now, you know. I could get infected. Well, technically, even Dr. Fauci said that masks are... are That's Dr. Fauci, you know what I mean? I'm sorry? That's Dr. Fauci. Yeah, well, Dr. Fauci is the guy that said masks are good. Yes, sir. How are you doing? Excellent. How are you? I'm okay. What's your name, sir? Uh, uh, Officer Santa. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Pleasure to meet you. So, for now, can you take a walk with me? Can I just stay here? I, I prefer to stay here. Listen, our sergeant is going to print out a, a copy. Sure. Which I'm going to provide to you. Okay. Orders directly from the chief of police. Okay? Sure. We can go over it if you want. Just for now, you can do me a huge favor and just step aside. I'm not sure what's going on here, what they're doing. But just well, please, I'll tell you what's up. Uh, yeah, sure. Just do me a favor. I'm not blocking aside. traffic. I was asked to step... Uh, sir, Boss. sir, Boss. sir, please. I'm asking you nice. Okay. Let's just step aside. Can I, okay, well, let me just say one thing, sir, right? Let's just go talk can, can, over there. Okay, let me say one more thing before... before okay? The, I attempted to enter this building. I haven't been impolite to anybody. I've been extremely calm. I haven't raised my voice. I just have my constitutional rights violated. They, then they push me out here. Then they push me out here. Then they push me out here. I'm on a public place. I'm not blocking the flow of anybody. I just want to go. I, I even told two guys I will throw on a damn mask, even though it's unconstitutional. And it's against my medical freedom to do that. I will throw on a mask. I just want to go through and take a look, exercise my First Amendment constitutionally protected right, and then I'll leave. Right That's on. all I want. Right, right, right. At this moment, boss, if you look like I can't. I can't. Are you? You're, you you're, boss, sure. I, okay, I'll respect you. Go ahead, talk. My sergeant. Okay. I'm still, I'm still trying to figure out what's going on. Okay. But until then, can you please do me a huge favor? Just just stand right over there. Just please. Can you do me that huge favor, please? I'm asking you nicely. I don't want to... I don't want to escalate things. More I don't want to escalate things already. I just, I just have my con because right now help, I'm here to help you. I, I hope you are because you I'm swore an oath to protect you. my rights. I'm here. To and help. I'm gonna tell you what. I don't have to because this is not a restricted area. But you are being very polite with me, so I'm gonna back up two steps. Okay. But I'm only gonna back up two steps. Okay. I'm not. I'm not in anybody's way. I'm, I'm behind all this stuff.
Y'all set up Martin Luther King. It's facts. Six days before he died, he was here in my uncle's church. Y'all set him up. Patterson uh-huh. Police Department. You stand for them, yes, sir. Well, well, well listen. Y'all gonna be what, what is, I, I don't see, you, you don't even have your mask on and you're telling me to wear a mask. I don't know that. Y'all set him up. This is crazy. Y'all listen. Own, y'all, own, y'all own people confirmed it. Yeah? Yes. Do your research. So what is it that exactly you're going to do here? Exercise my constitutionally protected First Amendment rights and then be on my way. I'm talking about here. Like what, here, what, yes. I'm go- what is it that you want to come inside for? To exercise my First Amendment okay. rights. All right. Can, can, can you do me a favor for your mask? And then if you want to come inside, you can come inside. Okay. Well, thank you. you have to I'm going to put... Okay. Now, I want to say one thing to you. Last thing to you, gentlemen. And, 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 like I said, and I, I promise I'll shut up after this. I'm going to put this mask on, right? Okay. This mask... Who's the head guy says that these masks don't work, right? I'm, it's a, it's a violation of my my constitutionally protected rights, and it's ineffective, and it also goes against my medical freedom. I'm going to do this. I'm going to put this on. I'm going to videotape. I'm going to go in there. I'm going to keep my voice low, even though I have the right to yell and scream if I want, because it's a protest if I want to. But I'm going to go in there. I'm going to be playing. You guys were very friendly to me, but you have to understand. No matter. This is the last thing I'll say. No matter what the governor. The mayor or the police of chief says, you guys weren't able to uphold the Constitution. So you have to consider every time you're given an order, is this against the First Amendment? Is this against the Fourth Amendment? Right? Because you swear an oath before God to protect our rights, not take orders. Just following orders doesn't cut it. Thank you for being very polite with me, gentlemen. Can I keep a copy of that? Sure, Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's yours. Okay. That's for, him. That's for you. Okay, great. That's a copy of our order. Thank you very much. God bless you. I hope you guys are safe. Have a great day. I'm going. I'm going to. I'm putting it on right now. Other than that, how you guys doing? You guys okay? Getting down to the truth. Yeah. Well, you know, we got eight hundred thousand. Upside down. Yeah, it fits better this way. It covers more of my mouth. Millions of viewers. Thank you. I know exactly what I want here. Thank you, gentlemen. All right, so I cucked out. I cucked out. I wore the mask. If you're gonna take pictures, it's fine. We want for you guys to be videotape. We have to get permission from the legal department. Okay? Just bear one second with us. Okay? Oh my. God. Okay? Just give me one. Just take, take. Go back for a few minutes. Me. Oh you have to, you my. Go to the coffee. Please drink it outside. There's a garbage can here. Excuse me. Oh my gosh. They said in order for me to video, he said we can take pictures, but in order for video, so you have to get permission from the, sir, sir, sir. Okay, if you're, no, no, sir, you're you, going to get permission, if they say yes, we allow it's you. It's the First Amendment, sir. Just give me one second, sir. I'm not buying, I'm not saying, you don't, I don't I'm have, asking, I'm sir, asking you're, you, okay, I, okay. I'm asking you to Wait, this, this is a lawsuit. I'm going to sue people. I'm going to sue people. I'm, you're violating my rights right now. This is a First Amendment right. I'm going to sue people. I'm going to sue people. I'm going to sue people. This is this is crazy. I'm going to sue. I'm going to have to sue somebody. This is crazy. You feel it's going to trump law. Your personal feelings do not trust We're going to read this. We're going to read this afterwards. We're going to read this afterwards. Are you doing, are you doing video? Yes, sir. What are you taking a video of? I'm taking okay. video of everything, sir. It's like, a First like, Amendment. Like first what, Amendment. Give me, we got the permits here. You can't buy the employees like me. Like, what do you want to take a video I, of? Sir, sir. I can, sir. The First Amendment allows anybody the freedom of speech, freedom of press, to go and take pictures of anything that is not restricted. This is a public building. I have every right to come in here and take pictures and video. Okay. I've I've literally traveled. No, I'm outside. I don't have to. Look, I've literally traveled this whole country, and I've I've went to dozens of city halls. I've went to dozens of state houses. I've I've had crazy things happen to me. I've never in my entire life been somewhere where they said you have to ask permission for the First Amendment in a public building. This is this is one of the craziest things I've ever seen. I'm asking, do you? This is so crazy. Let me ask you something. Sure, you can ask me whatever you want, Doc. If we don't let you in, what's supposed to happen? Well, what's going to happen is I'm going to make I'm going to FOIA request your name, everybody's not name a, that stopped, a, everybody who prohibited my First Amendment rights, and then I'm going to have to just sue people okay. because you because you know I don't want to do this. Okay. But when you can't come into a, because I guarantee you, if I had a whole bunch of makeup on in a big sellout, big corporation, big farm military industrial complex news six news five whatever the hell that was and i was a big slut telling a bunch of lies with way too much makeup on covering up for jeffrey epstein in the war crimes you guys would let me right in you'd be kissing my ass but no because i'm a regular idiot with a backwards hat 
you guys are mad and you don't want me to express my First Amendment right. And the thing is, this is a building protecting the First Amendment. You guys all swore an oath to protect our First Amendment right. And now you're sitting here blocking my First Amendment right. You guys have to live with that, lawsuit or not. You guys took an oath before God to protect my rights. Now you're shitting on my rights. Shame on you. You guys are worse than the damn Redcoats. Okay, so here's the deal. We're not going to let you in and we're going to see. We'll take, we'll take it from there. We will not let you in. Oh, it's, it's not your decision. It's not your decision. It's called the First Amendment. That's it. You can't come in. That's it. Sir, where's the lawyer team? I'm not. I'm not inside. Where's the legal team? Where's the legal team? This is the craziest audit. I. This is the craziest audit. This is crazy. They they have me outside waiting for a legal team to see if I can exercise my First Amendment rights. Wow. This is ridiculous. We got cops here in the United. The cops are just sitting here watching this happen. Sir, sir, can, can, I, can I speak to you one second? Okay, okay, I'm putting my mask on. Okay, look, look. You, you, you guys are. You, okay, okay, you guys are officers. You guys are you guys are all. Alright, look, look, look. Can I drive the garbage on the floor? Alright, well, uh, look, look. You guys, you guys, you, let me just say one, let me just say, let me just, I'm, I'm talking now. Let, let me, okay, sir. You're, you come in? Okay. Sir, sir. Okay, okay. I just want to say, okay, I just want to say one thing, please. I just, you, you guys are, can I, can I say one thing, please? One thing, and I, I, I won't say, you guys are officers, right? You, I, I just, they're, they're, you guys know it's perfectly legal for me to, to videotape in here. And I put the mask on. You know it's legal for me to film in here, right? Like he said, we already explained it. But it's legal here to film. Yeah, but we already explained it. Explain what? Well, legal. Our legal I'm, I'm just here. What is it that you want to do? You need to bring your taxes in order. What do you need to do? Do you help me? Okay, the city hall. Okay, so okay. what do you need us to do? What do you need to do? I'm here to film. That's what I'm here to do. You need a permit. You need a permit? You need to get it. All right, this is the last thing I want to say. Okay. Are you se you're seriously telling me right now that I need... No, 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 no. You, you, you guys are seriously telling me that I need permission. I'm, I'm, uh, what, sir, I'm, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. What's your name and badge number, sir? What is your name and badge number, sir? I'm gonna, you guys are going to be getting sued. Okay. Thank you. Have a nice day, guys. Wow. Okay, how are you? Wow. I, I, guys, no more sellouts, exactly. No more sellouts. Yes, sir. Yes, no sir. more sellouts, no guys. Sellouts, so, guys, I have traveled this whole country, and this dude right here, D, was telling me Patterson is bad. And I did not believe him. I did not believe him. No I, I've never, ever had that happen where I've been denied access to a building. Complete, I mean, I have been, but never for other reasons, other lies. But they're saying I can't film in a bit. Three cops just told me to my face, I can't film in a building. I can't accept. Cops that swear no to the Constitution said, F your constitutional rights. Sad day. Sad, sad day. Look at all this dumbass. Look at all these dumbass. Dumbass decorations they got. They can put up decorations and they can sit there and they pay, get paid to violate my rights. Shameful. All right, guys, so I just read this, this leave-in here, right? So the first one is two Patterson employees re regarding reminders during COVID-19 pandemic. And it says, if you feel sick, stay at home. All employees must wear a mask, right? Right? It says employees, for employees... Um, utilize a temperature scanner. It says you have to do that, which is also unconstitutional. But it, that's for, for visitors. But it doesn't say visitors have to wear a mask, right? 
employees that taste positive, employees, employees, good hygiene. This is to the employees. And then the other thing they gave me here, Patterson Police Special Order. And it says, to Patterson Police, it, it says the wearing of masks, all divisions, is roll call, uh, is mandatory. It's uh, This is for police officers. Take a, pause this shit. It's right here. You can see it. This has nothing to do with the public, right? They didn't give me any piece of information that has to do with the public. They just violated our rights. And guess what? Us three, we're going to have to, we're going to actually have to just do pro se and we're going to have to sue these folks because enough is enough. Because there's no lawyers that are going to take this case. So we're just going to have to teach ourselves and do it ourselves. This is absolutely crazy.